I started working with him three and a half years ago, I guess. He came in and he was this kid that really had this ataxic gait pattern. He was all over the place. He kind of walks with this crouching gait, but at the same time he would have hyperextension, his knees would buckle. He was falling all the time. They had started with just leapfrogs to address the coronal plane instability that he had. As he started doing more walking, they were seeing that he was just all over the place and needed more support than the leapfrogs could provide. So we casted him for a pair of DAFO three and a halves. Another piece of this was that he was very sensitive to having anything on his feet. So even once the fit was fine tuned, he was still wanting to rip the things off. Over the two, two and a half years since I had started with him, you know, developmentally, his gait had improved quite a bit. He wasn't falling nearly as much. His intoxic gait pattern wasn't quite as severe as it had been. So he was gaining skills. He wasn't nearly um, hyperextending as much. He had better foot clearance, but he still exhibited foot drop as he was walking. And the therapist said, you know, can we try braces again? Because he still has these deficits. I think his gait could be so much better with braces. He's older, uh, he's wearing his shoes better. He leaves his shoes on, maybe he'll tolerate braces. So we're like, okay, rather than doing a custom, let's start with a kangaroo and see if that would be you know, if he would even tolerate keeping it on. Which he did, he wore that for about six months, which brings us to about now. And the therapist at school had put an anterior elastic strap on the front of the kangaroo to help, you know, provide a little bit of control to prevent the crouching. And he tolerated it, he left it on. So we're like, okay, maybe we can go for a three and a half again and get the best of both worlds to have, instead of a firm block, because he's not hyperextending his knees as much, but he does have some foot drop. I think that giving a little more flex, plantar flexion, flexibility, moderate resistance would be a smoother option for him. So that's what we're attempting today. We got him fit and the, the fit looked great. Uh, his gait is good. He still kind of has this funny gait where he keeps his knees flexed. And even though the, the ankle positioning is really good, he still can get some toe drag, which you can kind of see in the video. But I think that his gait is better. And even before any bracing and watching him run down a hall, his gait is considerably better than even six months ago when I saw him. You know, he's able to run in a straight line almost without bouncing off the walls. Um, so he's making some pretty exciting improvements and I'm hoping that the DAFO 3.5 will be a good solution for him this time around.